Hi, I'm Trent Noasad with Case IH. Today we want to give you an overview of the setup of the AccuSectional module metering system that are found on Case IH Precision Air 5 Series air currents. This system, released in 2016, is very revolutionary in that we have changed the game in terms of air cart metering. At the heart of this metering system is our ability to individual each primary run from the air cart separately. We do this using a separate meter assembly with a separate electric drive motor and a cartridge roller assembly. This gives our air carts tremendous flexibility and allows for unique features like built-in sectional control as well as things like curve compensation because not every roller needs to be turning at the same speed because each drive is individual. The air cart we're using today was factory ordered with eight primary runs. This means it has eight different meter modules and eight different motors per tank. Currently this cart that we're looking at today is only set up using four of those meter modules as indicated by the section status bars for each tank. From our setup tab, indicated by the gear wrench, we can select machine setup. The first tab that opens up is the width. We need to tell the air cart what area it's covering for it to meter the right product for that area. To do that, the first thing that we need to indicate to the air cart is our row spacing. In this case, we've selected 30 inches as if we're attaching this air cart to a strip till rig to apply nutrients in a strip till application for 30 inch corn. After that, it asks us how many primary runs or how many of the actual AccuSectional module metering systems are we going to use. This cart is equipped with eight. Today, we've only set it up to use with four. The next thing it asks us after we tell it how many runs it has, it wants to know how many shanks or openers there is per primary run. In this case, we have three, as indicated here. This now lets the system calculate its total width it's going for. One innovative feature that our AccuSectional module metering system allows is for being able to meter to varied row spacings. What I mean by that is that we can change the number of runs per each one of these primary towers so that the system will accurately meter to a section that contains, in this case, three runs, or a section that actually contains four runs. This is due to the nature that we drive the system where we drive each primary run independently, and they don't have to be always driven at the same RPM. 